Hi, welcome to The Ripple Effect, the show that leads you to transformational resources that you need to know about. My name is Scott Helton, founder of Cafe Namaste, a place to discover and discuss life's most important questions. Joining me today is Ryan Nichols from RyanNichols.com, Breakthrough Coach, and a colleague of mine. Hey, hey Ryan. Hey, Scott. Nice to see you again today. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm excited about uh, our chat today. Today we're, uh, we're talking about health and specifically talking about one of the guys who is a, a leader in, uh, in current health thinking, especially when it comes to things like superfoods and so on. Uh, tell us about who's on tap today. Well, I'm excited to share with our audience about David Wolf. David Wolf is known as the rock star of topics on health, longevity, vitality, super food, super herbs, super exciting guy. He's uh, very knowledgeable. What I really like about David is he's able to take cutting edge scientific research and blend it with ancient wisdom from native cultures in a really exciting way that really empowers you and gets you excited to um, implement these uh, findings into your own life. Yeah, David Wolf someone that uh, I only started hearing about, reading about, um, and watching recently. Uh, thanks to you, you know, you turned me on to him. You you showed me some of his vids. I know you have some of his vids on your on your Cafe Namaste site, and um, and if you start YouTube, and you'll find all kinds of stuff that he has out there. Um, so I'm a little late to the party relative to others, uh, and maybe uh, you know, there's many others like me. I think who don't know about him or or don't know much about him. Perhaps they've heard his name but don't really know much else. Um, or not at all, um, but he's someone definitely that's worth uh, knowing about, um, certainly worth learning about some of the things that he has to say, which is why we wanted to do this talk, to help spread some of his knowledge and uh, information out, <laughs> out exactly. to others. The reason David is such a go-to guy for this kind of information is because a lot of what he says is you know, directly conflicts with what other experts out there say or are talking about. For example, uh, a lot of health experts say um, that we should eat a lot of soy, for, especially vegetarians looking for a source of protein. But David says, no, don't eat soy, avoid soy, because for one thing, primarily most, any soy that you can get it nowadays is GMO. It's genetically engineered, and we all know why we want to avoid that kind of stuff. The other thing is that soy tends to boost the estrogen levels in the body, and this causes all kinds of problems down the line. Yeah, you know, I've been vegetarian for for a handful of years, but I would classify myself as a relatively lazy vegetarian. You know, I'm I'm one of those who has doesn't have a diverse array of protein that I eat. So I've been heavily reliant on on soy products over the years, um, which is obviously not a good thing, and, and that's what David Wolf is emphasizing. So it's a little bit disappointing to hear that. I think I've I think I've known that to some degree, but but. I was in denial of of the negative health effects. But fortunately, there's there's lots of other good sources of protein that are out there, um, and he exactly. you know he talks about a lot of them. And, and it's just a matter of of diversifying and and finding those better sources. It's so exciting nowadays. We've got things like you know spirulina is pretty uh, readily available. Spirulina is super high in protein. A lot yeah. more. Um, you know, absorbable by the body as well, and uh, things like goji berries. You know, there's all kinds of new superfoods and super herbs that um, can give us that protein content that we need in a more readily available um, uh, form. So, another thing he talks about that was pretty surprising to me when I first heard it was the about calcium supplements. You know, there's so many people, especially women. Uh, takes calcium supplements uh, thinking that that's going to help their, their bones, help grow strong bones, right? Um, but actually that's not the case and there's never been any kind of study that proved that taking sal calcium uh, supplements will improve your bone density. Um, he's saying actually it's the opposite. In those countries like the U.S. where we have the highest number of people taking calcium uh, supplements, we also have the highest number of osteoporosis cases and the opposite is true for countries like Senegal I think he said has the lowest number of uh, cases of osteoporosis and they don't take calcium supplements he said he said don't take calcium supplements he said if you want to build strong bones and teeth then take things like magnesium and silica together create an alchemical reaction in the body which 
helps build strong bones and teeth. Um, another thing is uh, nettle tea, things like that. But there's, there's a lot of other things that we should be taking in and not uh, calcium supplements. Um, yeah, you want to think about this, right? Yeah, I mean, we've all grown up thinking and hearing that, you know, dairy products, milk keeps the body strong, good for the bones, uh, you know, calcium, good source of calcium, which is so important. Um, what he's suggesting is that, well, this is a bit of a, a bit of the message from the industry that is, has infiltrated into our society, but it's not necessarily rooted in good science, right? So, uh, again, one of these ideas that seems to conflict really with, with reality. So, so it's interesting to hear, and uh, again, discouraging if you are one who's uh, big into calcium supplements or drinking milk or other dairy products, because that doesn't really seem to be uh, that important. So interesting to right. hear say that. Yeah, and in fact, he says one of the biggest impacts you can make on your health and as far as like changing your nutrition is, is you know, get yourself off of dairy uh, altogether, wheat, um, and sugar is another one, um, any kind of genetically modified foods like corn and soy and wheat, those kind of things you want to pretty much avoid out of your diet. But there's so many great, exciting things to, to you know, replace those with nowadays that are pretty getting easier and easier to get a hold of. So um, I really invite our audience to go uh, try those out. Yeah, so he, I mean, in general, he says, you know, ditch the dairy, ditch the wheat, uh, certainly the GMO stuff, and then, and then sugars, get rid of those, particularly the, uh, the processed sugars, high fructose corn syrup, of course, uh, key ingredients, so many junky foods, ditch all that stuff um, as a, to start. And then he gets into the superfoods. So, so why don't we talk about some of the specific superfoods that he mentions as well, because that's, that's some of the fascinating stuff. Uh, uh, Right, the whole concept behind superfoods and super herbs is uh, taking your concept of uh, nutrition from eating a large amount of food with a small amount of nutrition to the exact opposite, to eating a small amount of food that has a really high uh, amount of nutrition. And um, that's where the superfoods and super herbs come in. Things like goji berries. Goji berries, surprisingly, they come from. Uh, places like the Himalayas, but the, it's a berry that actually has a complete protein uh, aspect to it, um, really high in amino acids, things like that. It's uh, one of the most powerful superfoods on the planet. Uh, another one is uh, cacao. Um, and there's ma maca as well. Maca is one that you'll see on, on health food stores. You go to Whole Foods, you'll see it on the shelf. Um, where's maca from? Do you remember? Yeah, maca is from Peru. It's um, In Peru, it's to the Incas, uh, they called it the food of the gods. It's great for hormones, but also energy levels and building sustained le energy levels. I mean, I've tried it myself in some, some of the elixirs and the smoothies that uh, David uh, talks about. But um, it really helps keep you at that uh, elevated state without the crash. It's not a huge spike like it hits you in the head with a sledgehammer impact like caffeine would do, like drinking, drinking coffee and whatnot. But... And then, he, and then one of his uh, big favorites is, uh, is the medic medicinal mushrooms, right? There's a couple that talks about the, the queen and the king of the mushrooms. Exactly. Uh, have you tried these, and, and do you know much about these ones? Yeah, he, t he, he recommends for our immune system, for building your immune system. We really look into taking medicinal mushrooms, and uh, one of these is chaga. Chaga is the king of medicinal mushrooms. It's, uh, it's not only just a, a supplement, but it should be a food source, and such a great uh, product to take. Uh, another one is reishi mushroom. And reishi, there's a lot of evidence in this, but reishi is the queen of the medicinal mushrooms. Lots of scientific uh, research that's been backed up that uh, how powerful reishi is um, as far as promoting health and longevity and uh, immune system building. So, And he actually uses these mushrooms like as a, as a, he turns them into a tea and uses that tea as a, as a basis, as a base for his, these magical elixir smoothies, these superfood smoothies that he creates. Um, so he throws in this mushroom tea and then a bunch of these other ingredients, um, the maca, the cacao, um, things like honey as well. So, so honey apparently is really, really good as well. And, and it's a great sweetener obviously for, for, uh, things like a smoothie. So that keeps him tasting good. Yeah, he's big into the honey. He's get them, you know, from all over the world. He's he's got his own uh, bees as well. He's a beekeeper. Um, 
Another thing he uh, is promotes quite often, and this is, came from Ron Teagarden, I think, who's a friend of his, Chinese master, master herbalist, but he talks about the substance called Hoshu Wu, and Hoshu Wu is like yeah. another highly adaptogenic uh, super herb that we should be looking into as well. He's got, got some other ones that, you know, things I've never heard of, uh, Shilajit, uh, Makuna, how about, uh, what else? How about Shizandra Berry? Have you heard of this one? <laughs> it's, no, I mean, it's really interesting, though. It's if it, it's little berries, and if you put one on your tongue, um, they say that all five types of flavors, like uh, sweetness, saltiness, sourness, bitterness, all those, um, are all inside this um, this herb. And if you put it on your tongue, you'll you'll notice one. Like you may taste yeah. bitterness or sweetness or whatever, and this kind of keys you into what you may be deficient in um, nutritionally. So. Uh, yeah. Pretty amazing thing, but uh, Ron Teagarden also talks about um, that Shizandra berry. It's such a um, super important um, Chinese medicinal herb that we should be taking. So, yeah, so much stuff out there. You know, the best way I think to get into it instead of just being overwhelmed by all these these names and, and random foods and you know, so what do you, what does a person do with all this? Um, he's got lots of info. In fact, there's a, a great YouTube video that that he put together where he it's basically a film of him in his kitchen putting together one of these smoothies using the mushroom tea base and adding in all these superfoods. And, and he talks about them. He, he spells the names and say, shows how much he puts in. And um, so we'll provide a link to that to give yeah. you a point to, to make one of those smoothies. And, and then, you know, read up uh, as you can and, and see some of the other vids that he's got and, and start to go from there. Go to your Go to your Whole Foods if you can afford it, <laughs> or get online. There's some online stores as well where you can buy some of this stuff, right? I know you know of um, uh, one especially. I've got that link to uh, the Raw Food Warehouse on Cafe Namaste on the right side down below. You check that out. Um, it's by uh, from a guy named Matt, Mon- Matt Monarch, who's uh, a friend of David Wolf's. Um, but anyway, he's got a lot of these superfoods and super herbs available on his site. Another one is David Wolf's own site, uh, Longevity Warehouse. But um, quite a few places carry a lot of these now, and uh, it's coming more and more uh, available all the time. But um, again, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to, you know, take a whole ton of this stuff. Just a little bit, I mean, even an eighth of a teaspoon in some of these uh, um, substances really make a huge impact on our health and longevity. So, well, one of the big takeaways for me is the specific new foods I'd never heard about and so on was, was just the idea was, was to get you to think differently about, about nutrition and about the way that we eat. You know, we are very socialized into this idea that, well, I have to have my food groups and I sit down and I have my meal and, and this is what's good for me and this is what's not. And he's basically pushing this idea of, you know, things are evolving. Obviously, we are evolving, society is evolving, so are our nutritional uh, options, our choices, you know science backing up more and more um, of, of these studies that, that are showing what's good for us and, and what's not. And it's important to, to tap into that information and modify your eating choices and your nutritional options accordingly. And so I think that was, for me, the big takeaway was to stop, um, stop just doing the same thing over and over again and become aware of what else is out there. So. Exactly. I mean, a lot of people still live enough uh, information that's 50 years old and yeah. you really need to, to change your uh, thinking if you want to adapt to our new world, you know, the, the new, like you said, the new toxins, the new uh, things in our environment that we really need to uh, adapt to. And some of these things can help us with that and stay vital, stay um, healthy so we can live long lives and, and, you know, not only affecting our physical bodies, but also our thinking levels and our emotional state and all that as well. A lot of people forget about that, that, you know, that the food we eat actually uh, changes our emotional state as well. So for sure. So check him out, David Wolf. Uh, definitely worth uh, learning about what he is saying. Even if you don't subscribe to it, all, all of it, even if you think of a lot of it as, you know, left field or, you know, uh, check it out. It's worth uh, worth at least listening to and, and exploring. So, Yeah, be sure to check him out. Um, we've got lots of videos on Cafe Namaste, uh, David Wolf, but um, also there's a lot of information on him. He's got tons of books out there. Um, but yeah, check him out. Uh, you'll be glad you did. So there's some links below. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks for
Turning me on. David Wolf, Matt, I, I held you responsible <laughs> for that in a good way. Uh, I give you, you credit for, for uh, opening my eyes to, to him and his work. So thanks for that. And my thanks pleasure. for this chat. I always enjoy them. Uh, Likewise, man. To come. All, All right. right. Take care. Till next Bye-bye. time.